Consider this your dead set initiation, Retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. And I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. Hello everyone, this is Connor. Welcome to my new playthrough of Watch Dogs 2. I've been wanting to do this walkthrough for quite a few months actually. I've uh, got nothing much to do. Much to do. So, why not do it now? Um, I'm going to be doing this on the realistic difficulty. I'm going to aim for the 100%. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to get this money here. You start off with quite a bit of cash. I don't know how much talking I'm going to do during this, but I'm going to try. I'm not much of a um, commentator, I'm more of a game player, if that makes sense. But let's see how it goes. You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't say I don't know. I have no idea. Nuh-uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's... Oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their phone? Oh, God. Oh, God. I just knocked out. Um, there. Tag this dude as well. I think there are like five dudes around here. Uh, I don't think I can tag this dude. Let's just go in and see what we can do. I'm gonna use my stun gun a lot. So what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the DedSec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. Kind of sloppy, to be honest. Kind of rushing through this. Thank <laughs> you. 
think that's all of them. Okay. I got alerted. Not really what I wanted, but... He's done this before. CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. Uh, once in the system? Always in the system. I've got to go to the... Holy shit! Okay. He went for it! You won't have much time before the backups kick in. So far so good, I guess. I haven't taken any damage. He's going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Give the man props. He's going the mile. Sorry about that detour guys, I completely forgot where I had to go. But I got a couple of audio logs. I'm going for a hundred percent. I wanna get everything. What the fuck? Why is my threat so high? Bullshit. Fuck. <laughs> or I could just
just gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yep. Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news feeds are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So, am I in? Welcome to DedSec. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, a.k.a. Hot Sauce. Yo, your hot sauce? Yo, man, I love your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Hmm? It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind-blowing. Yeah. 
is big brother and little brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Judge. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. I'm sorry. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government, they'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. Now I fucking know why. Fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We we out think, we out dare. So I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what what Bloom's up to, man. Show show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Hold on. What? We installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, you, what, are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking <laughs> this mother... <laughs> Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where is my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. Place am I in? I guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations, so hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day. Okay, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have a minute, please leave your feedback in the comment section. It's highly, highly appreciated. I would like to get a lot of it, if possible. I'd like to do my walkthroughs and whatever I can do to get them better. What I can do to fix stuff up, I would like to do. Thanks, guys. Peace out.